My name is Otoide Ayemere. I am the SA technical to the Honorable Minister of Tourism. Listening to your speech, your keynote address today, you did make mention of how you're working towards making sure that tourism is going to become bigger than it is. You also mentioned the different places you've visited in Nigeria that are tourist vacations. Now, in your opinion, what would you say is the, well, would I say the way or place that tourism is right now in this country? Because we've got several tourist locations, but we don't have a lot of Nigerians visiting those locations. How would you say tourism is in Nigeria? for Nigerians? Right now, it's, like I said, an untapped resource. And that is why we're having these conversations. That is why we have a ministry now solely dedicated to tourism to highlight all of the challenges that are being faced and not just highlight them, proffer solutions to improve the numbers and the value of tourism in Nigeria. Thank you very much. Now, speaking about the panel that's going on at the moment, right, uh, Mr. Obong mentioned something. He mentioned how it's difficult for private sectors, private individuals, private organizations to go into these things in total because of these people uh, that are in places of power demanding or asking how they can benefit from these things that are going to be put in place to the benefit for the people generally but they're looking for what is involved for them or what is in it for them. Now, what regulations would you say can be put in place to make sure that these things stop? So I'm not sure that was the direction of his question. It's a business. The landscape is open for every and anybody to set up tourism products, to set up tours, to set up tour packages. There's absolutely no inhibition from the governments to in fact, we are encouraging private sector to set up these things. Um, like someone on the panel mentioned, platforms like Visit Dubai is a private brand, right? There's a few in Nigeria currently running. And as a ministry, we are lending our voice to even to amplify some of these voices. And we are encouraging as many people statewide, you know, visit each and every state. It does, if we can't continue to, government is limited by the projects that we can take on. There is ample opportunity in the whole country. Every single state, there's tourism assets in every single state in different levels of development. And with the fact that it's not as developed as we would like it to be, that creates an opportunity. That means there is room for someone to take this up, polish it into a finished product and sell and make money. All right. Thank you very much. Now, before we wrap up, I'd like you to mention a thing or two about what your thoughts are on this conference. Conversations are always great. This conference has managed to bring together stakeholders um, that can actually proffer solutions. I have actually learned a thing or two. I've also taken a few notes that I'll be taking back to the Honorable Minister to actually implement. So it's not a talk show. We're here to identify gaps. We're here to see how we can all put hands together to improve the tourism industry and create room for sustainable development. All right. Thank you very much. Have any few words for Business Day? Well done. I was quite impressed that this was put together by Business Day. And I'll just say kudos to to Business Day for putting this together. And I'm hoping others can also take a leaf and let's create more platforms to engage ourselves and challenge ourselves to improve the tourism industry. All right, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.